right, we're also going to welcome Armstrong with us tonight. It's going to be on a tape delay. So Armstrong, Kevin, welcome. Uh, so all you people that love our telecast and you want to just watch it later, then that's fine with me. Absolutely, yeah. If you can't, uh, if you don't catch this now or let somebody know, it'll be uh, it'll be able to be available on Armstrong um, to be able to watch it for your viewing pleasure. And certainly, uh, hopefully, you keep the volume on. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have Jordan McCurdy. I'm going to guess gonna, it looks like he's starting in the goal tonight. Uh, number 35. <coughs> we got a like, host of players out on the ice there. We're going to see who's, who's what as we start rolling along. It looks like it'll be Cole Weber's going to start uh, start the activity here with Hanaway on one side and can't see who's on the other side. There's a drop of the puck. That's Mahoney on the other side. Mahoney's on the other side. Puck's going to try to get put into the Bulldog zone. It does. This is going to be on a near side board. Back, back on the defense there, that's uh, English. That's one of the other English. There's a couple Englishes on the team, Dave. Yeah, we've gone through a couple. <laughs> it's got, that's at least the third or fourth one, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. This is Konechki in his own zone. What's he going to do? Wheel and deal. Take the puck in behind his own net. Yeah, he does. He's going to set up shop there. He's going to. Him and English are going to talk what they're going to do. He's going to bring the puck up the boards. Gives it away to the point. I'm not sure what, what that pass. Maybe they missed the wing there a little bit. Here comes Harbor Creek, and they come, come circling in. Back to the far point, near point. Puck gets loose. Back the other way. This is going to be um, it's, um, Hanaway and Mahoney. Mahoney with the puck. Going to put it in front. Can't get Weber. Back comes Harbor Creek. They're going to try to break out of their own zone. Going to put it deep. Back into the Bulldog zone. This is Ott, far side. Going to chip it off the board. Going to go to the neutral zone, right to their defenseman. They're going to come right side here, back to our defenseman, put the puck in. This is going to be Weber. He corrects a high puck, going to take it, try to get our one guy. Can't do it. And he checks his guy to the board. Huskies on the far side. Nice check, nice check in there by Lewis, taking a guy off the puck. This is Weber. Can he get the puck out? Yes, he can. Nice chip ahead there. That's uh, Kessler. Well, I'll tell you what, that kid's got some hops. Number nine, he's going to play, play catch in the corner with the other English. <laughs> Puck comes out, does it come out? No, there's Shovelman on the ice. Nice job there by uh, Ott to keep the puck in. Puck's in behind the Husky goal. It's going to go far side boards. Can they get out? No, they can't. Kept in there nice. This is going to be Ott, going to put it in deep. 15 13 on a running clock, first period. No score here at the mark. Shot there by Kessler. They were made it to the goal. English is going to put it back near side point. Nice job there by the D. Better job there by Lewis to keep the puck in. Takes a shot, sails it over everything. <clears throat> Puck's on the far side. One on one with Hyam. Hyam's going to stand him up. Shot in the middle of McCurdy's chest. We're going to have a stop in the action. 14 13 to go. Face off just to the right of the goaltender. Meville's own. Yeah, not a bad start here for the Bulldogs. As you mentioned, a couple uh, good chances. Maybe a little quick little uh, turnover there by the defenseman. Um, but from the Bulldogs early, giving a puck away to the to the uh, to the point man. We make sure you're going to be get the puck out of this out of the zone if you're going to go high and hard. <laughs> that's for sure. That that's where that. Uh, <clears throat> That saying came from. What the, maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to explain a little bit of what that means later. But we'll just, right now we've got a whole bunch of action. Puck's in front, going to miss miss a centering pass there by the Huskies. Puck's going to go all the way back to their zone. Circle in behind his own net, going to put it to the far side. Huskies going to try to break out. Can they do it? Yeah, barely. Puck's going to come to the uh, Meville defense. This is Hyam. Correct to the puck, far side board. Going to dish it up. Gonna miss everybody going down the far down the other way. <clears throat> Back to their defense. Everybody's setting up shop. They're not too much change on the Husky side because they don't have many people to chase. Puck shot in behind the Bulldog cage. Collected there by RD. Gonna break out past there. Just a little bit too far. It's all the way down the other end. That was gonna be for uh, Hanaway, but it was just a little too far for him. This is Weber. Weber in behind the zone. Got poke check there. Husky's going to break out. Here they come. One on two. They got a guy off the bench. He's going to bring it in. Now it's two on two. Huskies are in the zone. Puck's on the far side. <clears throat> Kept in deep there by, by their defenseman. Steps up nice. Puck's in the far corner. In behind. Oh, nice shot there. <laughs> kind of from behind the net. Hit something and went right into the goalie. This is going to be uh, Weber. He's got a semi breakaway. Takes a shot. Score. Far side. I didn't see the assist on the back side, but Weber. Gets a, gets a break down the ice. DJ takes a snapshot for a post. Yeah, good finish. Great, actually, great finish by Weber. 
Boy, he had a uh, he had just a little bit of a step, and a, I think their defenseman, uh, that was that big guy number 16 for Harbor Creek, had actually an angle on him. But uh, Weber had turned on the Jets there. He still had a whole shift in front of him and was able to uh, look like he just went far side, just over the pad and just below the blocker. Uh, great finish, uh, certainly by uh, by Mr. Senior um, Cole Weber and showing the boys out to get done here early on uh, in the first period. Well, that's what you, I guess he's designated. He's the captain this year, so you like to you know, lead by example. There was no assist deed, so we're going to have we're going to have Weber scoring at about the, in the first period, unassisted, at about the 13-20 mark. One nothing Meadville. That's Konetsky behind his own zone, going to back it around the other way. This is going to be for for Lewis. Lewis is far side, can't get the, can't find um, English. English does get the puck, beats his guy to the to the play, backhand hits off the goalie, and he goes in behind. Nice little play there by English. That was a nice play. Kinesi's going to keep the puck in. Shot, bounce, where is it? Goalie's got to feed it to the corner. Coming the other way. Huskies are having a little trouble getting the puck out of their own zone. Tries a, tries a stretch pass. No, it won't go. It's all the way down the other end for icing. Coming back all the way to our left, 12:40 on a stop clock. One nothing, Meadville here against the Huskies. Yeah, good job there. Again, I mentioned a nice little play by English when he tried to uh, come out of the corner. Um, I think he actually had somebody in front, but there's a defenseman in between him. He tried to sneak it in, almost went five hole on the goaltender there. Almost caught him sleeping. Yeah, good stuff. <clears throat> back to the point. This is um, <laughs> this is Jordan English or Jonathan English. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Defenseman English and forward English. You're going to have to bear with me, folks, until I get this one figured out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Far side boards. They can't get it out of the zone. Shot in there. Just misses the net. Near side boards. <clears throat> Try to clear the puck. This is English at the D. Going to pass it to the other far side. Nice job there. Going to hit uh, Derlich. Derlich's going to take a shot. Never made it to the net. Good job there by Ott to keep it in. Bulldogs are, are keeping the puck in nice. It's in the neutral zone, though. They're going to have to come out and clear. Odd puts it back in deep. Bulldogs are making a change. First line back out there again. Mahoney, Weber, and looks like Hannaway. Nice job there to step up uh, by, by English, but the puck squeezed by. Hannaway, what's he going to do? Give it to Mahoney. Nice, sweet hands there to pick up a bad pass. Weber was just ahead of the play. Good call there by Josh Trimble. A nice pickup, however, by uh, Mahoney on a fly and a difficult pass. Yeah, it certainly was a good catch. The uh, the one play, they got a little, you talk about people getting used to each other there. Whoever thinks he's getting, he's got to gain the blue line there. Mahoney um, making sure that he's got to get in the blue line first so that way Weber can get going that uh, caused the offside there. A little miscommunication. Is it me or did Mahoney grow about seven? I said, I, said that, I said that to myself before when he first got on there. I don't know what he took over the summer. But this guy's offside. He, got, he has to be. Yeah, he called icing and instead. And it was icing. Well, but, no, I mean, I'm just serious. I mean, this is not the same. Is it the same kid we saw last year? I can tell be. you, unless unless Weber shrunk, he means he's, he's, he wasn't that tall last year. He's not. I mean, he's giving Shevelman a run for his money right now. Yeah, absolutely. That's unbelievable. Huh? He had to. I'll tell you what, he must have been at the pool. That water just made him grow. Or That's something. right, yeah, that country cup water. Man, tell you. Gotta love it. God bless it. Anyways, here we are. Face off in deep in their zone. <laughs> Wow, this to the left of their goaltender. I think there's like 16 more Mahoney brothers coming up through this system too. You're kidding me. Something like that. This is Lewis going to take a shot, misses the net, in behind the Huskies goal. Near side corner, their D is going to try to put it ahead. Nice breakout pass there by the Huskies. Back the other way, they're going to try to step around the D. Nice job there, good back checking. Oh, I'm not sure what the penalty is. It's going to be a hooking call. Got him up in his hands. He might have been. I kind of lifted his stick and the kid kind of tumbled. We're going to have a penalty for the Meadville right now. Yeah, I tell you what, that was Lewis. Lewis is the one that is going to go in the go in the sin bin here for two minutes for hooking, and I, I think that uh, it was, he was one of those uh, good plays by the Husky to fall down when his hands got hooked. Yeah. And ultimately, uh, referee took the bait, and Meville's on the first penalty kill. So there we got it. Yeah, we're going to be short-handed now for <coughs> the next two minutes on a hooking call. Uh, so we got 11:07 to go in the period. The Huskies are on a power play. They're, they're working on, uh, working in the zone to our right. Walking the line, they go D to D. They're gonna try to put it down in the near side corner. Zamboni doors, coming to the half board. What's he do, bend down the other way. Nice job there by, by English to take him right off the puck. There's a shot there, where is it? Hits McCurdy's pad and bounces all the way out, out to the boards here. Or might have hit a defenseman, but in any case, they keep the puck in. 
Back on the half board, shot there, just missed the net. They kind of went back door, but the puck missed the net anyways. We've got about 118 to go on the, on the hooking penalty to Lewis. Huskies are on a power play, one nothing Meadville here in the first period. Shot there, hit the defenseman. Nice job there by Shovelman to block the puck. I think he got English. Hit English, okay, yeah. the puck by Shovelman, however, was able to get cleared all the way out. There's a miscue there, good job. Good four check in there by Kessler. Boy, almost got turned over. If he would have had a puck, he could have been stepping in. That puck's gonna go all the way down. This has gotta be an icing call. Yep. 52 seconds to go on Lewis's penalty for hooking here in the first period. 10.05 to go, first period, one nothing. The Pink Bulldogs. Yeah, right, no doubt. I tell you what, it's a, it's a new day for the Bulldogs. You had two freshman defensemen out there on the power, on the penalty kill and uh, <laughs> protected the house well, I think. You mentioned a couple <laughs> block shots and uh, a couple clears, uh, very nice. Yeah. I guess it's not about, uh, you know, it's how good you are type of deal. No doubt. Here's Ott going to chase down one of their forwards. Coming down, going to take a shot. Nice save there by McCurdy. Pucks into the far corner. Can this Weber, can he get to it? He's trying to pick along with the far side board. Bringing the puck in deep is one of their, their defensemen who stepped up. Going to put it in front. Where is it? Nice job there by... Uh, who's that, Hyam? No, he's no just, that's Mahoney. Mahoney. Again. Remember, he grew 16 inches. Gee, nice play there by Mahoney to get the puck out of the zone and all the way down the other end. He did look like Hyam because how tall he was. I'm telling you. There's a shot there. Good save by McCurdy. Far side corner. 15 seconds to go on the penalty to Lewis. 1 0 Meadville. First period. Behind the net is Meadville. They're playing catch with it. Uh, Harbor Creek. What are they going to do? They're going to put it in the far corner, hit something, hit the webbing out of the play. It's over by the locker room. Hit some kid with a hat on. I hope he's okay. Thank Referee Jamie Triola is looking for a puck. Throw the man a puck. There we go. Four seconds to go. If we win the face off and clear the zone, we might want to pay attention. Lewis jumps out of the box. He can jump into plays, Deej. Yeah, absolutely. Got to get a win the first face off, though, first. Shuffleman on the draw. One step, yeah. One step at a time here, right? All right, face off in the Bulldog zone. We lose it. It's going to go back to their point. Take a shot. Where is it? High off the glass. <clears throat> back to even strength. Shot there. Where is it? Tip by one of somebody up into the netting. Face off is going to be inside, according to Jamie Triola. So we're back to even strength. 9.06 to go, first period. Face off just to the left of the goaltender, <clears throat> Mr. McCurdy. Yeah, good. Uh, certainly good kill for the Bulldogs. A couple chances there for Harbor Creek. Um, they got around out there the one time. But uh, other than that, it's, you know, Still early on in the season, I think it was a job well done. I think so too. This is high. I'm going to wheel and deal. Come back short side this way. This is going to be to Kessler. What's he going to do? He's going to skate. <clears throat> He's going to try to beat the defenseman. Nice, do he does. Gets down on the boards there. Puts it in front. Nobody home. Good job there by Kessler to get the puck in the zone. Konecki with a slap shot. Bounce off one of their defensemen. This is English. Put it in front. All oh, Shevelman just couldn't reach it. Nice job there though to keep the puck in the zone. English is going to bump his guy. Shevelman puts it back. Oh, tipped there by the defenseman. Awkward play there. Kessler couldn't get to the puck, however. <clears throat> this is Konecki. Back to his own blue stripe. Nice job there to put the puck off the boards here to Shevelman. Shevelman tried to get around one guy. I guess he does. He's going to come in the zone. Far side corner. Shot. Oh, a goalie had to make a save. That have been 2-0. Near side corner. Good job for checking there by Kessler. Harbor Creek gets, their, gets the blue line. Pucks back, they're going to go all the way down to our blue line. One of the four forwards are going to try to step in. Himes going to step in, take the puck. He's going to look. Here's Sh oh, that's Mahoney. Can he get around the guy? Nice job there. Good, nice play. We're going to be offside now. Himes is going to step up. Mahoney was in offside. Nice try, nice uh, try play there by Mahoney. He gets behind him. He's in. Yeah, well, it's actually one of those uh, good heads up play because otherwise he sticks around and, and takes that puck uh, with two hands. He's going to probably see the back, the back side of, his, of the ice there. So. Certainly good heads up play to try chipping around him and um, didn't work out, but it almost did. All right, here we got uh, Weber, Mahoney, and uh, <clears throat> Anaway again. Is your forward line. I'll tell you what, Harbor Creek's having a little trouble getting the puck out of their own zone a bit, Dage. Well, it's even just connecting the pass. They haven't really been able to do that more than more than one, one or two passes in a row. Pass there intended for uh, Hanaway. He's going to miss him. He's going to all the way down. It's going to be an icing call. <clears throat> Again, here's one of these things. Well, maybe if you can't get your stick on it, get your skate on it, right? Get something on it just to, to get it on there. But the kids are young. I mean, they haven't played together. This is going to take some time. But uh, right now, I think the better of the team is in pink. Yeah, certainly. It's uh, certainly tilted one way than, uh, than the other. Uh, but the, uh, 
as you mentioned, there's still a long way to go here. That's right. Face off in Meville zone. <clears throat> this is hiding behind his own net. Going to give it to Lewis. Good job there by the by uh, the forward coming down. Who was that? That was Weber to clear the <clears throat> clear the cre crease. So it's nice to see a forward come back and help the defenseman. All right. This side, he's going to come up the near side. Going to try to put it ahead there. Mahoney can't get a hold of it. Weber's going to take charge. He's going to take a shot. Oh, just misses Hanaway on the far side. <coughs> Good pass there, but the puck was just a little bit too too much zip. Good job there by Lewis. He's going to be called off sides. Meeble's going to have to clear. Yeah, they do. 7.03 to go, first period. Harbor Creek gets our blue line. Going to put the puck in deep. In behind the goaltender, McCurdy. Ott going to go far side. Harbor Creek uh, forward steps into it there. Going to put the puck in behind the net. Oh, there's going to be another penalty. Looks like it's going to be a tripping penalty on Ott. Yep. I'm going to guess. It or, looks like, I think. Yeah. Or no one. Or is it Ott or Lewis? Maybe it was Ott. No, it was Ott. Okay. He, might be a, he might get him for a slash. Yeah, you got him yep. first. Tripping. Tripping. Okay, so... Harbor Creek's going to go on their second power play tonight. <clears throat> and who is that? That's going to be, uh, yep, it's going to be Mr. Ott. Alex Ott's got a two-minute for tripping. So we're going to have a face-off in uh, our zone with uh, 6.37 to go, one nothing Meadville. <clears throat> second shorthanded uh, opportunity for the Dogs. Second power play for the, <coughs> for the Huskies. Nice job there by Williams, their defenseman, to pick the puck out of the air. And oh, yeah. It was like a bunt play. He just was able to pick it out and keep the puck in play. That's going to be Shelman. He's going to clear the puck all the way down behind their goal. Four checking there by Shelman. Nice job. Maybe they'll turn the puck up. Here he does. It comes right back to him. Four checking there, paid off. That's going to be Konetsky. He's going to risk the puck down all the way. He's going to step off. Now we're going to get Lewis on. They're going to switch sides. Nice. We got Lewis and Heim. There's going to be an icing pound, icing call uh, on the uh, Huskies with 127 to go in the uh, tripping call to Alex Ott. Yeah, the Bulldogs are pressuring the Huskies every single chance they can. So I think that's uh, certainly paying off for them right now, the Bulldogs, because even when the Huskies do have time, they think they're going to get pressured right away. So they're rushing a lot, and therefore that's what's coming up, causing all the icings and certainly some of these miscues on their end. <clears throat> excuse me, face off in the Husky zone. Going to be right on the goaltender. Good job there. I don't know if it was intended or not, but you got to be awake on those bouncing pucks. Uh, that's going to count as a shot on goal, I'm assuming. Uh, going to try it again. Face off to the left of their goaltender. Puck comes to their right wing. He's going to skate it to the blue line. He's going to get over. Good job there by Weber to take him off the play. Good check. Lost the puck. There it is in their zone. It's going to go far side. Neutral zone, gonna try to chip it in. Good job by Lewis to keep the puck uh, <clears throat> from going any deeper. Steps around one guy, steps around another guy. Got Mahoney in front, nice pass by Lewis. Oh, good shot by Mahoney. I think it hit the goaltender. I don't think you ever saw it. <clears throat> good play there by Lewis to get around one guy and able to get the puck to Mahoney, who actually shot the puck and hit the goaltender. I'm not sure he even saved it. I think it just hit him. Yeah, he hit him right in the middle. He sure did. Into, the, into our zone it goes. Konecki's gonna be hard off the boards. Doesn't make an out. Weber's gonna get the puck. For 43 seconds ago on the Harbor Creek power play. They really haven't set up shop too much on this one. Offside. There's going to be an offsides call. We're going to come all the way out to the neutral zone. 5.14 to go first period. Six, um, 37 seconds to go in the power play for the Huskies. one nothing Meadville on an unassisted goal by Cole Weber. Yeah, good chance you mentioned there. Certainly great play by Lewis to chip it around the defense and make a two-on-one situation and gave uh, Mahoney the chance in front. And uh, Mahoney just unfortunately wasn't able to find the back of the net. Husky's going to get the zone, going to try to put it in deep. Can't do it. Kessler's going to try to get the puck. He can't find, a, find an exit play. There's a shot there and oh, just wide of the net. Near side here. Their defense is stepping in. He's going to pay a price. He got hit there. Nice, nice check in there by... Uh, that was Konechki. That was, was it? Or, yeah. Is that Konechki or Durling? 34. 30, 34? Yeah. That's Konechki. Yep. That's a good check. Anyway, here we go. Huskies are going to be in the neutral zone. They're going to try to get into our zone. They do. Puck's going to go in behind the net. This is Hyam. Hyam's going to get the puck. He brings it around far side. Hyam's on it again. Even strength. Even strength. Thank you. We're uh, <clears throat> even strength right now. Huskies still have to control the puck. They put it out. Backhand shot. Hit uh, McCurdy on the shoulder. and goes wide. Shot there, oh good, nice tip there. Somebody's got a stick in it, hit the puck, iron up over the glass, up over the net and hits the glass. 
4.14 to go in the first period. one nothing Meadville. Now, where's that trip? Yeah, he's got it. And he got it now. That's a good call. He loses control of the puck in the zone. You got it caught. So it looks like the, the Meadville is going to go on the power play. Deej, what do you got to tell me about the power play? I'll tell you all about the power play. The uh, Yolanda B. Barco Oncology Institute Power Play Partnership. The Bulldogs on their 15th season are raising money for breast cancer research. It started back in 2005. They have raised over $130,000 for breast cancer research. And every every time that the Bulldogs go on a power play, for instance, you can pledge two dollars per power play goal, and donations are tax are tax deductible. So please make your donations now. We'll get you more information after the uh, after the next next puck so, drop. Looks like the trip was on uh, number ten, um, uh, Brett Soa. Uh, so he's in the box for tripping, and the Bulldogs are going to be on a power play. We still have time in this first first period. <clears throat> There's four four minutes to go. And here we go on the power play. Puck's going to hit there to stick, so it's not going to be icing, so it's going to go all the way down the other end. Kadeski's trying to give chase, loses an edge. Puck goes all the way down the other, other end. There's no icing here. McCurdy's going to hold it up. This is going to be, uh, Puck's going to come all the way up to Kadeski. Looking wheel and deal. Nice pass there into to English. This is going to be Shevelman, going to dump it deep. So we got English, Kadeski, Shevelman. Who's at the point here? Weber. We'll see how the power play goes. Nice job there. Weber's going to keep the puck in. Take a shot. Oh, he had him, but it was just missed in that high. Shot there by, she by, by uh, Shovelman. Nice pass uh, from out of the corner there by Mahoney. But a better save by the goaltender. Oh, good job there by, by Cole Weber accidentally to keep the puck in. Shot, where is it? Oh, bounce rebound there by Shovelman. He couldn't put it in. Kineski can't keep the puck in. It goes all the way down the other end. 3:04 to go in the, in the second, in the first period. 52 seconds to go in the power play for Meadville. Good check there by uh, the Husky guy to take the guy right off the play, and then Konecki comes up and takes him off the play. McCurdy puts the puck all the way down the other end. Where's the puck now? Far side, Shevelman. What's he gonna do? Fighting hard on the, on the far side there. This is gonna be Weber stepping in, getting around one guy, getting around two guys. Pucks into the far corner. Good step in there by Mahoney. He's in the corner. He gets taken off the play. If we keep it in, it's going to be a delayed offside right here. Puck's going to go down the other end. No, they were able to clear without anybody touching the puck. 15 seconds on the power play. <clears throat> in behind the net. Oh, where's good? One of their guys comes out with a puck, takes the backhand. Another shot. Where is it? Okay, this is Lewis. He's going to get the puck. He's going to go far side. <clears throat> That's going to be past Derlich. It's going to go all the way down the other end for icing. One second to go in the power play. We're on faceoff in our zone. 2.10 to go in the period. one nothing Meadville. Yeah, good a couple chances there for the Bulldogs on the power play. They had a uh, had a great opportunity right in front and um, ultimately weren't able to, uh, to capitalize. But I tell you what, a little sloppy in our own zone there. Uh, had a couple changes with uh, with behind the play and we're fortunate to uh, still have a one nothing Bulldogs here. A short end opportunity for the Huskies. All right, faceoff in the Bulldog zone. Can't get the puck out. Going to keep it deep there as uh, the, one, of the bull, one of the Huskies. Back in behind the Bulldogs uh, uh, net. This is Derlich. Getting through the neutral zone. A little forecheck in there. Casty's on the ice at this point as well. A little lost edge in behind the net. Good job there by Derlich to take his guy off the puck. Lewis is going to take a shot. Went through everybody. That's Grasinger. Grasinger going to try to keep it deep. There's, that's going to be uh, Derlich. He gets knocked off the off the puck. Grasinger, <clears throat> that's um, Grasinger trying to keep in the puck, but the puck comes out. Back come the Huskies. Going to get the line. Going to go wheel around one guy. Nice job there. Shot there. Good save by McCurdy. Guy took a slap shot from 10 feet away. But McCurdy was better at better uh, on that one. He made the stop. 116 to go in the first period. One nothing Meadville. Bucking behind our goal, far side. Battle along the far boards. It's going to be Gresinger, Derlick. Squirts loose to their defenseman, takes a shot. McCurdy gets a puck. They're going to get a face off. My guess we might see a change. 58 seconds to go in the first period, 1 0 Meadville with a face off in our zone. Just to the right of the goaltender. Yeah, just inside a minute, as you mentioned here, Bullocks uh, certainly don't want to. Uh, Squander any uh, kind of opportunities here. Big, no. big, big face off for Weber. For sure. Face off won by Weber, but somehow the <clears throat> guy from Harbor Creek was able to get to the puck. 
Near side corner. Scrum in the corner on that far side. This is going to be high and get the puck ahead. This is going to be Mahoney and Weber. Weber comes in, tries to get to Mahoney, but stopped by the defenseman. Shot there. Oh, good save by the goaltender. Good job by Konetsky to step up to keep the puck in. He paid for it, but nice job to keep the puck in deep. He's another big kid for a freshman. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> this is Mahoney going to give their defenseman a little bit of a a little bit of commotion. Good back checking. Nice job by Mahoney. There's a trip. You better believe it. Good call there by Trioli. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> that's nothing but good hard work by Mahoney to steal the puck and create another penalty. That's great forechecking right there. Yeah, well, it really paid off, too, with it being able to get the, uh, the power play. Um, let me try to explain that power play a little bit better this time. Okay. Try to rush through it to the end there. Again, basically, people can make a one-time donation to help the Bebo Bulldog Hockey in their efforts to raise money for the Barco Ecology Institute. People can also make a pledge, a dollar amount for every power play goal that a team scores. For instance, they can say, I'll, I'll, I'll donate $2 for every power play goals. Everything is tax deductible. Deductible. If you're interested, please contact Bulldog Hockey. Very good. They're the, uh, number two's in the penalty box. I'm sorry, my score sheet does not have his name, so I apologize. I can't tell you who's in the penalty box. All you gotta know is they have somebody in the penalty box. Two seconds to go in this period. You take a long shot, and hit off their four checking guy and bounce back into the zone. So right now we've got uh, one minute, 43 seconds to go on the um, on their penalty. one nothing Meadville. We'll put 17 minutes back on the clock and we'll see what happens from here, Deej. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just want to give a give a quick mention here to uh, some of our sponsors yeah, there you go. that are current here as well. Um, right now, as, as, as we sit here today, we probably should have a little bit more come next week um, or in a few weeks when we go to our next game. But Channel Lock, Smog Plumbing and Heating, Dr. Dennis Finton and Associates, Mercer County State Bank, the Area Shopper, Westbury, KFC of Meadville. We appreciate all your support and uh, thank you for sponsoring us to be here on, on Cool 101.7, WMVL, Linesville, Meadville. We do appreciate the Bulldogs have a, uh, have a one nothing lead um, after one. And certainly we'll have the rest of the, uh, the, the power play one minute and 43 second here uh, to start this second period. Um, pretty good pretty good first period, I say, for the Bulldogs, certainly coming out early. I know this is one of the early games that we have seen. Um, they are what, in their, probably their second or third game um, for the, on the books uh, as far as the Bulldogs go. So certainly certainly some things to, uh, to look for and, um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully to, to improve on. Shots. Looking to see if we can't get the shots here from the, from the scoreboard. Um, Looks like seven for Harbor Creek, and looks like we're going to get, uh, oh, maybe not. I appreciate all y'all. Thank you very much. That way, that way. Thank you. 11 for Harbor Creek, seven for Meadville. No kidding. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate the help down there. Always do. We love the people in the booth, in the scorer's booth. Yeah, that was a little lopsided, but I didn't think it, maybe some of those shots we took never made it through, huh? Yeah, I mean, I knew there wasn't a lot of shots to begin with. Um, I know that I'm not surprised by there only being about 18 shots total because uh, not a lot of shots did get through, but I'm surprised that the Bulldogs uh, didn't get as many as Harbor Creek. But. All right, here we go. Meville's on a power play. This is going to be Weber. Oh, it misses everybody. It's going to be icing. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just... This is just getting used to each other, Dage. Yep, no doubt. And again, even even the news used to each other, you think about it, that was between Shepelman and Mahoney uh, and Cole Weber. All three of those players played some significant time, maybe not on the power play, but certainly on uh, on, on the, the Bulldogs roster and on, on the ice last year. So just trying to get used to each other in certain situations and trying to understand and a little bit of cohesiveness. There we go. Face off in the Meeble zone. <coughs> Meeble wins a draw. They're going to break it out. This is going to be English. Going to stick handle nice. Boy, I'll tell you, soft hands there for a young guy. Freshman. Yeah, they're looking good. Boy, he turned the guy around all over the place. Put it in front. Couldn't find Mahoney. This is Konecki. Near side. What's he going to do? Near side, far side corner. Near side corner. Shovelman's going to can't get a shot. No, this is going to be Konecki. Walk the line. Take a shot. Hit one of the defensemen in the head. Puck's coming all the way around. Nice job there by Cole Weber to keep it in. He's going to come off the board. He's going to put it in front to Shevelman. In. And it's a tip. That's a nice play. I don't know if Konecki gets an assist on that because it won. No, they cleared it. So we're going to, it looks like we're going to get Shevelman from, um, from Weber. And that's a power play goal, people. Yeah, unbelievable. So again, that would. Uh, power just, play goal. You would uh, ultimately, with the donation there that we're talking about, if you spon sponsored a certain dollar amount, you'd be able to uh, to donate to the uh, to the cancer center. But back to the play, that was a great uh, great mention um, that you said there about Cole Weber getting sealed tight to the boards, keep the puck in, 
come off the half boards and find Shuffleman for the for the touch. That was a nice, yeah, it was a nice pass. All you do is put a stick on it, and there you go. Two nothing Meadville. <clears throat> Here in the second period, I'll tell you what, this is a good sign right now. I'll tell you what, everybody's worried about the young dogs. You know, they come off to a, a tough loft against Quaker Valley, but good start here tonight with the pink, you know, the pink in the rink. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I have seen uh, seen some good things, especially like as you mentioned from some of these uh, some of these younger kids, um, the freshmen in particular, playing uh, playing well and, and filling some roles. Pressure in the, in the uh, <coughs> Harbor Creek uh, zone. That's going to be Lewis. He's going to put it in on the delayed offsides. We're still clearing. Jamie still says we got to clear. Jamie Triola, we got pucks going everywhere. He's going to call a high stick on no, somebody. Yeah, a high stick on Harbor Creek is what his arm was up. I was wondering why. He, he, oh, I thought it was a penalty. I thought he was delaying it. It's my he, fault. Yeah, I was wondering why too, because it didn't seem like. I mean, they were close, but it didn't look like he was looking there. So I, I was, I was curious as well. So it's actually a high stick penalty, not high stick on the puck. Gotcha. So we got a high stick and penalty. So put Bulldogs go back on the power play, right? That's correct. As far as I know. Okay, now that the first penalty, that number two needs to come off. Of course, that's number eight uh, on Harbor Creek for the second penalty. So don't let me get confused. That's Tristan, Tristan Kaseski. There you go. You slur it in, you said. You got to just slur it all together. You got to put all those constant, all those vials together. They, they, all, they, the new rule is, Seven consonants in a row constitutes as a vowel. <laughs> I'm from a keyboard, I can say that. And one syllable. And one syllable. <laughs> okay. So here we go. 152 on there on the second penalty. 1536 to in, in the second period. 2 0 Meadville. Meadville wins the draw. This is Konechki, far side. Gonna come sit near side of Mahoney. Mahoney's gonna put it in front. Oh, just couldn't miss Weber. Hit off someone's stick. <clears throat> Weber's gonna collect the puck. What's he gonna do? This is Konechki. Walk the line. Take a shot. Nice shot. Hit the defense. Hit their guy in the in the skates. Konechki's got to chase after him. He chases him down nicely and was able to keep him from having a breakaway. That was good hustle there by Ryan Konechki to get down there. And in the meantime, he looks like he got hooked. The kid's still laying all over him. <clears throat> With that said, puck's gonna go, go back in the Meeble zone. Okay, let's just clear everything. Clear the race to board. Mevo in their own zone. This is Konechki. Up to English. <clears throat> Over to Weber. Weber's gonna get the zone. Steps around to check. Far side, half board. What's he gonna do? Puts it in front. Oh, bounced off someone skating. He was looking for, <clears throat> looking for um, Jonathan English. Never made it, hit the defenseman in the skate, and went all the way back the other way. 44 seconds to go on the power play. 14.25 to go in the second period. Puck in the, in the <clears throat> Harbor Creek zone. Back to the defenseman, they cleared all the way back into the Meeville zone, in behind the net. This is Weber. Weber gonna give it to Ott. Ott gonna come near side. His own blue line, neutral zone, center stripe. This is Kessler, far side. Wheel and deal, one hand, couple, couple uh, shake and bakes. He buttered the puck a little bit, as they say, Dage. <laughs> and puts it all the way down the other end. Good job there by McCurdy. We're gonna have to put that on the call in list, explain that to our fans at home. Gonna go past uh, Kessler. Puck in the neutral zone. That puck's gonna go all the way down the other end. No icing, I guess we're, they just came out now. Now they're even strength. 13.38 to go, running clock. Second period, two nothing Meadville. Far side, this is Weber. Step around one guy nicely. This is John Grasinger. Far side, he's gonna take a shot, put it in front. No, he misses everything. This is Kessler, gonna wheel and deal in behind her net, stop on a dime, come back the other way. What's he gonna do? This is English. Puts it in front, nice save there by the goaltender. I'll tell you what, sharp echo shot there by, by Matt English. <clears throat> goaltender had to pay attention. Nice D there, this is Matt English. Gonna, oh, get stopped to the blue line. Bounces up nice though. That's a big kid, that Williams, for Harbor Creek. That was a good check, but I'll tell you what, Matt English bounced right up. That was good. Back the other way. Nice play there. Harbor Creek's in the zone, going to take a shot. Good save there by McCurdy. Where is it? Bounce the puck. Lewis takes his man into the, into the far uh, dashers. Lewis is with a puck. Far side board. <clears throat> Streaking up nice. Beats one, to, beats one guy. Gets in the zone. Far side is Derlick. Derlick, he gets knocked down. He's gonna try to keep the puck in. Can't do it. 
Back come the other way. This is Casty. Casty can't keep the puck in deep. That's Ott. Ott's going to give it over to Lewis. Lewis is going to put it in deep. Meville's looking for a change. Deep zone. <clears throat> there. Puck's coming out to the neutral zone. Shot in there by uh, Harbor Creek. They're looking for a change. This is Lewis, far side. Puts his guy on the board. There's going to be some kind of a penalty or something. There's a roughing call on somebody. I missed it. I didn't see it. I didn't either. So it looks like. On Harbor Creek, I would imagine. Well, I don't know. Didn't they, they touch it or we touched it? I can't tell you. Nope. It looks like it's going to be on Meadville. Get the number. Can't get the number. So we're going to go. Well, they're going to. Harbor Creek's going to go on the. 27. That's, That's Nick Cassidy. Cassidy. Yep. Cassidy's going to get a penalty for rough. <clears throat> Two minute minor. And so Harbor Creek gets to go on their third power play, right? One, two, yeah. Meeble had two, they've had three. No, gone wrong. There was three and three. They must be their fourth? Three no, and three. Three and three. Yeah, three and three. There's a scrum down in the corner. What's he doing? I don't think not, nothing's happening right the now. English is just holding on to two guys and yeah. the puck all at the same time. I'm He's not moving anyway. He's just kicking the puck back and forth. This is what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bulldogs are killing the power play. I have nothing to tell you right now, folks. The puck's just like laying on the board. All right, here we go. <laughs> they finally squirted loose. Good job there to step around. This is going to be all <laughs> nice job by Mahoney to feed uh, Weber. Weber. Weber had him, but he just shot it over the, over the, over the crossbar. But I'll tell you what, that was a good play there by Mahoney to get the puck to Weber. Puck cleared again all the way down into the Harbor Creek zone. 113 to go on Casty's penalty. We've got a Harbor Creek man down in our zone. Play will stop at 11:17, and we'll hold it right there. Deej, what do you got to say? I didn't see the see what happened to this guy. I did not either. I was more watching uh, Scott, Coach Scott Phyllis's uh, reaction to uh, Cole Weber going. You know, hitting the field goal above the above the net, opposed yeah. to uh, just taking it to his backhand. He had the whole whole wide open to the far side, which is exactly what Coach Phil said uh, to him. You see the same thing here. It's in hindsight. It's uh, certainly somewhat easier to uh, to, to say uh, Monday Monday morning quarterback, but uh, certainly hope that the, uh, the Husky guy is all right. Again, I I didn't uh, I didn't see it. I looked over to the to the bench um, at the time. The EMT is out there now. Um, Appears to be moving. I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. Let's take it back to the studio real quick. Maybe get some sponsors in while while they attend to this guy. We'll go from there. Sounds good. Daryl. Well, we sure do hope he's okay. That's for sure. Huh? Hey, welcome back to the rink. As I was saying, we're certainly hope that that gentleman's okay. We weren't, see, we didn't see what happened. All we know, he was on the ice. And anyways, that just brings a face-off down into their zone. We have uh, one minute and 11 seconds to go on uh, Casty's roughing penalty. 11:14 to go in the second period. Do nothing, Bulldogs. This is uh, Shelby going to take a slap shot, hit something in front. I don't think it even made it to the net. Their defenseman's trying to try to clear it. Konecki can't keep it in. Pucks in, in the Harbor Creek zone. They're going to clear it all the way down the other end. <clears throat> I'm not sure. And it's going to be an icing because they're on the power play. That's right. Again, we talked about it earlier. The Bulldogs are certainly pressuring the, the Huskies often, often, often. And when you when that happens as a player, you don't think you have very much time even when you have time. And, and certainly that's something the Bulldogs have been able to instill, I guess, in the Huskies here today where they're, they're rushing things. They've got guys open they've got opportunities to make plays and uh, certainly aren't doing it because they think they're, they're rushed even when they're not face off to the left of their goaltender puck near side board this is Mahoney in behind nice job there to try to get away from one of the Huskies their defense is going to have it that's Williams he's a pretty decent hockey player big kid can't get out of their own zone however near side here they finally get out of the zone nice, nice touch pass into the front there <clears throat> coming into the zone Good back choke by Mahoney, gonna hide hard off the glass, all the way down in behind their goal. Weber's gonna forecheck, he's gonna get to it first. Nice job there. Weber's got the puck and plus two Huskies on his back. They finally clear the puck off his skates. Back the other way, trying to kind of go home run ball, didn't work. Good job there by Lewis to stop it. He puts his guy into the board. Mahoney takes his guy in. Lewis is able to get the puck, chip it up, didn't make it out. 
or even strength right now with uh, 10 minutes to go in the second period. Shot, nice save there by McCurdy. He just went down, the puck hit his, hit his pad. I'm not sure it was on goal or not. This is Matt English, gonna try to get on one guy. Can't do it, Bulldogs are on a change. Puck gets flipped out into the neutral zone. Center ice goes. Back in behind the Bulldog goal. Given chases Lewis. Gets the puck, far side. This is Konecki, what's he gonna do? Off the glass, trying to get Kessler. Bounces too far to their D. Coming back the other way. No offsides, we're good to go here. Uh oh, lost an edge there by Lewis. Their guy picks up the puck in behind our net. Unfortunate turnover here. Puck in the front of the ice, nothing goes home. They're, st <clears throat> they're still able to control it in behind the Bulldog net. Stops on the dime, puts it in front, where does it hit somebody in the skate? Near side here. Good speed here by Matt English, gonna break down the right side. Gonna take a shot, oh, good save there. I might have had him short-handed, or short side, but the goalie, I think, might have got a piece of it. Holy smokes, where did he come out of? He, Who's that, English? English, he was flying down the right-hand wing there. He did, somebody shot him out of a cannon. He's gonna impress his brother, you know. Yeah. <laughs> shot there just wide by one of the Harbor Creek Huskies. Boy, four checking there. Puck's loose, however. Let's try it for Kessler, a little bit too far. Neutral zone play, back and forth it goes into the far side corner in behind the Bulldog net. This is Ott gonna wheel it all the way around. Matt English can get it, he tipped it out, no he can't. Oh, that good job there by the defenseman to keep it in. Better job there by, uh, by uh, Jonathan English to pick his pocket. This is Shovelman taking a shot, hit the goalie, where's the rebound? Came right back out to the defense, they cleared to the center ice. This is Alex Ott, wheel and deal. AKA Bobby Orr, back and forth we go in his own zone. Boy, I'll tell you a little sloppy play here. Nobody can really connect the pass together. Pucks in the Bulldog zone. Walking the line, Harbor Creek. Nice job there. Stopped. Gonna take a shot. No way. Derlick puts a stick on it and pumps it into the corner. This is Derlick on their side. Gonna tip it up. Oh, gets it put in front to one of their guys. Shot. Where is it? Hits the side of the net. And McCurdy comes out and is able to, able to get the is able to get the puck. Jamie Triolo is calling a whole bunch of stuff. He's waving left and right. I'm not sure what he has, Deej. I think he got, he's got coincidentals with, uh, was it Deerlink and I think, and their, and their guy as well. Yeah, he's got them both, I believe. Yeah. Number nine and, and Ott, is that Ott? Is that Ott? No, on, on 36. Deerlink. Deerlink, yeah. Yeah, they, they were just uh, playing a little rough uh, behind the net and just, you know, saying hi to one another illegally so Triola had enough I guess so those will be offsetting penalties and basically what that means is we'll stay five on five action here folks well they both get roughing yes yes all right here we go 741 to go second period two nothing Meadville and back we go the other way puck into Meadville zone <clears throat> excuse me Hanaway gonna give it a nice play by Heim to recontrol the puck Heim coming in, take a shot. Goaltender makes a glove save. Going to be a face-off in the um, Harbor Creek zone. With exactly 7.24, there's no tenth of the seconds, people. Just, nope. seven, just 7.24. No tenths, huh? No tenths. Not tonight. Shot there. Oh, Score wow. right off the face-off. Here's what happened when I was being uh, ridiculous. <laughs> Do it. There was a face-off, Mahoney chips it ahead to himself, steps around the guy and decides just to put it in the net. When in doubt, put it in their net. That's exactly what he did. Another beautiful play there by Michael Mahoney. I believe that's gonna be unassisted. Yeah, definitely be unassisted unless you're gonna give it to the ref. He, you know, he took it right <laughs> off, right off the draw, right off the draw, right around the, right around his, uh, his opposing center. I mean, he's got the left-hand shot just to the left or to the right of the goaltender. Cole Weber typically is taking those draws, but with he's being left-handed, Oh, he's gonna, we, got a, we got a penalty here from the Husky. For what? The Huskies. He's going to get him rough, or is he tripping? Roughing. roughing. Yeah, roughing. Roughing. But he's getting hoping it doesn't get ugly. Yeah, well, I think he just was a little frustrated there. But again, to kind of finish that off, Mahoney did a great job. He's on the forehand there, was able to get behind his opposing centerman and able to go. I'm not sure. Did that go far side or go five hole? I, I couldn't tell. Yeah, you know, it could have went five hole and far side. It could have been both. Yeah, it could have been both. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, the I do. The goalie could have come out and... Psh, 
Yeah, it was hard to tell from this angle. It was definitely in the right side of the net as we're looking at it. Correct, yeah, go on to the goalie's left. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bill Lark's on the power play. This is Weber. Oh, nice check there. Yeah, very well. Take nice off Weber. I'll tell you what, you check Weber off a puck like that. Now, there's, a, there's a little key motion after the play. That was a good play by their defenseman. Uh oh, loose puck there. <laughs> I think McCurdy tackled him, so he wouldn't come out with a puck. He got away with one there, DJ. I think he did get away with one there. Oh, boy. All right, who's this? this oh, there's Konecki charging down the right wing board. Puck's all the way on the other side. This is Weber going to corral his own blue stripe. What's he going to do? He's going to give it to Jonathan uh, English. English is going to get their line. Corner, nice pass there hit by English. The shovelman in front who had a nice backhand play. Well, I'll tell you what, that, that freshman's, I'll tell you what, this whole crew's looking good right now. Yeah, absolutely. Nice uh, nice kind of forehand backhand by Shuffleman in a tight area. We, as we mentioned over the last couple of years in his office, certainly did a nice job there to actually get it elevated. This goalie's been going down pretty quick and pretty often, so good job to get it up and elevated, but the goalie was able to stand at the task. That's for sure. All right, 6.35 to go in the uh, second period, 3 nothing Meadville. There's going to be one minute and 18 seconds to go. In the, in, one, in the penalty to the kid from Harbor Creek, number 15. I've got his number right here. i got a score sheet that's all kind of jibble-jobble. I'll try to get that to you in a minute. Jibble-jobble. Jibble-jobble. That's not technical. Is that a technical term? Nope. That's a Dorothy Craven term, <laughs> jibble-jobble. All right, good poke check there. There's going to be shot and they save. Oh, it went over the glass. Good job by Konecki. Good D to poke check and then step and get a stick on the other one. So the puck went over the net. Nice job there by the freshman. This is going to be Shelvin. Nice job to cut in. Right-handed guy on the far wing. Good pass in front. Where to go? Oh, just missed uh, Mahoney. Good pass there by uh, Shelvin, but was unable to connect. This is Mahoney, near side corner. Back behind the goal. Mahoney, near side. Looking for Konecki. No, he's going to walk the line. Give it to Konecki. Konecki takes a snapshot. Hits Shelvin in the pants. Back to the and go the other way, all the way down the other way. McCurdy's going to stop the puck. What's he going to do with it? He's going to put it up to the near side boards to Weber. Good job there by little Johnny Grasinger to get the puck. Good to see him on the ice charging down the far side. This is Kessler. Kessler and Grasinger working hard. This is Matt English in behind. Nice jump, nice pass there. Oh, I'll tell you, Kessler couldn't get a stick on it, but that was a nice play there by Matt English. This is John Grasinger, near side board. Put in front, huh? Won't go. Hits her defenseman in the skate. 5.05 on a running clock. Teams at even strength, but I'll tell you what, these Harbor Creek's a lot of, they look like they're in snowshoes right now. Yeah, certainly. Even when they get an opportunity like that, it was a two-on-one. Cole Weber, Cole Weber able to chase it down to a two-on-two, force the dump in. That's it, for sure. This is going to be odd. He's going to go far side. Charging up, blue line, good pass there. This misses Kessler, goes the other way, knocks it out of the air. No high stick. I'll take it. What's happening here? This is odd. Going to be near side. Boy, I'll tell you what, he's gotten better. He's just He's gotten better and better every time he plays. He's a solid defenseman, that kid, that Alex Ott. No doubt, yeah, he's always uh, steady Eddie for sure. He is, like he's one of those, like, you know, when like Bobby Orr played, they always had Teddy Green, you know, someone that was steady Eddie. I mean, this kid's offensive, don't get me wrong, but I'll tell you what, he's just like, you just know he's gonna be in the right spot. Well, he's still a junior too. Oh yeah, the kid, the kid is, is, is a good, yeah, I like him a lot. All right, puck into the corner. Far side, good job there by Lewis. Good anticipation, can pick it off the board. That's not easy to do, by the way. Nope, high stick. Uh oh, what's gonna happen, call high stick? On the puck. Okay, high stick on the puck, yeah, good call. Good clarification. You know, DJ, that's why I got you on my team, good clarification. <laughs> you gotta have good, you know what I'm saying? I provide clarity. Oh, dude, let me tell you. So much clarity, it's like, it's like you know, a clean paint, plate of glass. <laughs> All right, here we go, 4.23 to go through in the second period, three nothing, Meadville. This is Derlich fighting in the corner. That's number Sam Ingles. He's in, he's in the game today. That's good. Get a good chance to get some of these younger guys in the game. Harbaker gets the line, takes oh, a shot. Oh, Lewis. And the puck uh, goes to the goaltender. Looks like there's going to be a penalty on on Meadville for... Lewis, did he get him for roughing? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, two minutes for roughing. Two minutes for roughing. Must have thought he must have considered that he hit him up high there. Well, I don't know. The puck was away. They got to take all that into consideration. Too. True, true. Didn't look like it was too far away, but you know, in the olden days, you still had control the puck till somebody hit it. You could, you could hit that guy. Yeah, right. But we now could, we had a couple strides, I think. Yeah, but now, no, no, new rules. New rules. 
New, new book, new everything. New oh, everything. Yeah, new everything. All right, we got. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. Near side point. Oh, good save there. Good shot, but a better save by McCurdy. Going down and making a glove save. I'll tell you what, the puck went up over the crossbar after it hit something. I'm thinking McCurdy got a piece of it. I'm giving it to him anyway. In behind, near side corner. Gonna put it in front. Nice job there by the defense, flipping it out. Beautiful play. This is gonna be Weber gonna run into it. Mahoney did a nice job to be able to flip it up to him, and Weber just skated right to it. Shot there by Mahoney from nowhere, and it almost went in. That was a good play by Mahoney to flip the zone, and just Weber just chased it down. That's what the you know speed is all about right there. No doubt, and great job here. I mean, you're really just all you're doing is you're killing more time off the clock for your uh, power play. Exactly. Far side there, that's going to be Jonathan uh, English. He's going to dump it back into their zone. 106 to go in the power play for Harbor Creek. Roughing penalty to Mr. Lewis. He's sitting in right below us here, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> Good here by him to get the puck. Going to take it in behind his own net. Stop on a dime. Nicely done. Backside pass here to Lewis, who just wristed the puck from 200 feet. That was a wrist shot, Dave. Yeah, that was English. Good. Uh, it was English off his back skate, just wristed it 200 feet. Thank you. Have a nice day. He doesn't look like a freshman either. No, he does. But he just wristed the. I mean, it's amazing. Okay, there's who's that? That uh, shovelman has three guys on him, just killing the play. Back in behind her, in behind their goal. I'm telling you, Harbor Creek just looks slow. They don't look like they have a lot of hips and hops today. Must have been a bad day in school or something. This is odd. Going to take it in behind his own net. Smart move. Going to set up shop. Come back, back door. Going to shoot it all the way back down. This is Weber. Going to try to beat two guys. He gets the blue line. Goes around one guy. <clears throat> he gets Pochek there. Six seconds to go in the Harbor Creek uh, penalty, but you wouldn't know it. it Seems like Mevo had a better of the play. Back into the zone they go. This is going to be a nice opportunity for them. Nice shot. Better save by McCurdy. Good play there uh, by Harbor Creek, but a better save by McCurdy. 2.03 to go. On a stop clock, face off in uh, our zone, three nothing Meadville. Yeah, good. Uh, as you mentioned, good job there by McCurdy. He saw the whole thing there. Was able to come up, get up square to the shooter, and uh, certainly took up most of the net. And high glove was no problem. Yeah, well, yeah, he just saw it all. Face off to the right of McCurdy. <clears throat> Harbor Quick wins the draw. Back to their point. Try to keep it in. There's going to be a penalty on number 34, Ryan, on Ethan Kanetchke for a cross check. I didn't see it. Did you see it, Dave? I could not see it. It's kind of one of those, that's one of the areas there that I can't see anyway. I was looking at it. I got an elbow, it. your head. Is that light always been there? Which one? That this one, one. Right in front of you. Oh, yeah, that's been, in fact, it says in here something about George Washington. <laughs> that, light, that light's been there. Dave. Or no, Edison, who invented electricity? Thomas. That's whose lane's on the light. Oh, okay. So Konechki got a cross-checking penalty. That nobody saw because the new light was in Deej's eyes, and I just didn't see it. All right, 140 to go. Second period. I'll tell you what, we're gonna, it's gonna, there's only gonna be two seconds on the power play. We get out of the period, we get out of the, we get out of the penalty. There we go there, where's the puck in front? Nice shot there, get taken out nicely by, by Mahoney. Checks the guy nicely, puck it out of the zone. Yeah, it does. Weber's gonna beat him to the puck. Pick his pocket, step around another guy, and goes top shelf. There he is. He found the stick side, finally. He finally found the stick side here. I'll tell you what happened right now, and I'll tell you why there's boards being slammed by the Harbor Creek guy. Weber's lifted one guy's stick, got away from him, came into the zone, just danced around the other guy, and it went top 90. Certainly did. So right now it's it's going to be four nothing. That's a that's a short-handed goal, right? Yeah, a great play there by Weber to uh, to finish it off. He certainly had plenty of chances this period and even some in the or some in the uh, in the first period. So great way to finish it off. The stick side, he's he's, he's favoring the glove side. The goaltender as he was finally able to find the stick side. Excuse me, was Weber. One minute to go in the second period. Four nothing Meadville on a nice. Uh, on a, Power play goal, short-handed goal, a couple even straight goal. Good job by Shelman. Danced through all kinds of people. He's got sticks coming out of his sweat. He looked like uh, Kreskin, a magician, pulling stuff out of his hat. It's sticks coming out of his sweater. Shelman's going to race the D for the puck. Can he get to it? Yeah, nice job to keep it in the zone. 36 seconds to go on a running clock. Puck's in behind the Harbor Creek goal. 
Going to go near side corner. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're just not even skating with any type of want at all. They, the Harbor Creek guys, they just look tired and slow. This is Kessler. Can he beat his guy to it? Maybe. Good job there by the defenseman. It'll be a little offside. This is going to be Jonathan English. Go D to D. <clears throat> Far side, that's going to be Lewis. Get the line, take a shot. Where to go? Misses everything. This is Johnny Grasinger. Going to keep it deep. No, he isn't. Cassidy's on the ice now. He keeps it deep. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Man, that's the end of the day. Wrap up. What do you think? Yeah, good job there by the Bulldogs. We'll certainly uh, we'll bring it back. Let's head it back to the studio, and we'll be back for a little bit of wrap up here in between the periods. Good call, Dage. All right. Well, we're gonna have Mahoney and Weber. Can't tell who's on the right wing, and then that's with that uh, that Jordan English on the backside. Yeah, or Jonathan, I mean. And that's Hanaway. All right. There we go. In behind the. And behind her net, pucks in front, shot right away. They got to make a save. Good play there. Coming out from behind the net. It's a good pass out of there by Mahoney. Just gave it right on the Hanaway stick. He took a one-timer, smacked a goaltender right in the old bread basket. Yeah, Mahoney was able to pick the pocket again of the, of the Harbor Creek Husky. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Face off there end. This is going to be Weber, 16.47 on the clock. Puck in the Harbor Creek zone. Where is it? Going to be kept in there nice by English. Puck's going to be bouncing around and behind the net. Mahoney can't find it. Far side corner. Good step up there by Konecki to keep the puck in. Nice move. Going to try to put it in front, but it hit the skate. That was a good read there for the youngster to step up and keep the puck in. Far side corner. It's going to come all the way here, near side corner. Puck's just going to get squared loose. Back the other way they come. Good job there by Konecki to take him off the puck. Now the puck's back in our zone. Nice pass there to get it out. This is Hanaway going to give it to Kinesk. No, I'm sorry, that's Weber. Wheel and deal, take a shot. Oh, just sailed, <laughs> sailed it. That was stick side too deep. Just sailed it over top. Yeah, he's giving him six tight. Hanaway, nice job there to steal the puck. Put it in front of Mahoney. Mahoney takes a shot just wide in behind their net. Far side corner. They're going to try to get out of the zone. High and hard off the glass. Doesn't go. Good job there by the defenseman. Can't see who's on the other side to keep the puck in. That was a good play. This is going to be English. Oh, nice job there to come back the other way. English is going to take a shot. It went wide. Kessler giving chase. Good job there by Ott. It's not size not to pinch, and the puck goes all the way down the other end. We're going to have an icing. 15-26 to go in the third period on the stop clock. 4-0 Meadville here at the House of Chills. Uh, they're playing uh, Harbor Creek tonight. Yeah, it's uh, certainly a little, mis little miscommunication between uh, English and, or I'm sorry, Art and uh, Ott and Kessler there. I think that Kessler thought that Ott was pinching, and as you mentioned, it was probably a good play that he didn't pinch. Yeah. But uh, just again, a little bit of communication and people not used to playing with each other. Yeah, for sure. Near side, this is going to be Lewis. Takes a shot, bounce off one of their shin, defenseman shin pads. They're able to clear the zone. Back to our stripe in the Bulldog zone, keeping it deep. Where to go? Into the far corner. This is Ott. Nice job to pick up the puck. Back to their D. Real and deal there. Where's it at? Pucks in our zone. They're going to have to wait on the delay. Good job there by Ott to step up. Coming near side. Going to get the zone. Going to backhand it in. Oh, good oh. check there by English. It looks like there might be a penalty. Both referees got their arms up right away. This youngster didn't get up. So there's going to be a little bit of a... We've got one guy down on the ice, unfortunately. We're going to put... I think Matt English is going to go to the penalty box. Yeah. We're going to wait and see. I mean, this could be anything. This kid's down on the ice. We're going to have to wait to see. I don't know if they're going to put a game fight. We can just wait and see. He's down. He's up off the ice here now. Oh, good. good thing. We're waiting to see what they call. He's, he's going, going off. He's going off on his own power, which is a, which is a good thing. Um, I, did not, uh, I did not see what they called, if they did call something. Uh, but certainly with power plays, it, well, we'll see what, how much that time they put on the clock. We we'll see what the announcer says. We're still waiting to see what uh, what goes up on the clock. Two minute minor. But we're going to give him elbow for for lack of better things. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was an elbow or if it was a hit to the head or, or what the case was. But uh, well, if, it, if they put somebody in, 
Uh oh, he's checking him. I don't know the referee's coming to. He's looking at him. What's yeah, he I'm, not him? I'm not sure. He told him something. He's coming back towards the. I'm not sure what happened. Well, there's two there's two people in the box over here for the Bulldogs, so I'm assuming it was a uh, maybe hit to the head type of situation. Yeah, so it's a two minute minor and a ten minute misconduct. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay, so that's going to be Matt English going to get a two and ten for head contact, right? Yeah, I would assume so. All right. So with that said, they only have to they only have to kit uh, they only have to kill off the two minute deal. There's a shot that went wide. So he's going to have to sit out to probably a good good part of the rest of the game. He's going to have to wait for a whistle to come back out. But with that said, Harbor Creek's on there on another power play. Pucks in our zone near side boards. They just kind of wheel and deal with it. a little bit. Nice job by Hyam to take, the, take this guy off the puck. Puck's going to go all the way down the other end. One minute and 18 seconds to the, to the minor. I'm not sure who's sitting the penalty, but whoever that is will be coming out that time. Adam Travis, number Adam 32. Travis. Okay, number 32. Good steal there by Shovelman. He's getting all by alone. What's he going to do? Wheel and deal. Shake. Brings the goalie to his feet. Goes the far side. Forehand into the net. Shorthanded. I think that's going to be unassisted. Nice play there by Shovelman. To steal the puck here at the line. Beat the defenseman. Take the goalie down. Goal. Yeah, I don't even, especially the finish there. It was a good, good play to uh, dip the shoulder, make the goalie freeze, and actually take the patience. Um, into account there and ended up going all the way around and had the wide open net to bury it. 13 49, that's a shorthanded goal. That makes it 5 0. If you're in, if you're in England, it'd be 5 0. Shot there, it's going to go over the, over the net. <clears throat> Far side. That's Konetsky fighting with, fighting with a couple guys over there. Now there's going to be another penalty. Yeah, I stick on the. Josh Trimble's got his hand up in the air. What's going to happen? On who? Yeah, it was a high stick on uh, was it Kessler. On. Yeah, it was definitely on the Bulldogs. I think it was on Kessler, I'm assuming. We'll see. It was on Shevelton. It was, he, he tried to clear the puck there, and he did get it. looked like he did get his stick up real close. The guy threw his head back, so I'm not sure if he if he saw it or if he just saw his head motion go back. So five on three, uh, chance here for the Huskies. Who's out there? Weber, Mahoney, and Jonathan English. Thank you. All right, puck just to the left of the goaltender, <coughs> McCurdy. <coughs> Excuse me, 13.28 to go on a running clock at this point. Puck's good cleared all the way down. Nice job there. Holy moly. That was odd, wasn't it? No, that's uh, oh, that's English. 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 Yeah, he just smoked it down the other end. Three on, like you said, five on three. They're having a hard time getting in the zone. Where's the puck? Nice job there. Stole away. Who's that by? It's going to be a two on one. We got Weber and Mahoney. Going to play a nice pass here by Mahoney. Weber almost got tipped in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable is right. They, they're just all over the place. Good play there by Mahoney and Weber. I'll tell you what, those guys are going to get to know each other before it's all over. Yeah, they, they certainly have known each other already. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That almost turned into a shorthanded, shorthanded goal. Yeah, Bulldogs Back. already had a couple. They've had a, two, two shorthanded goals yeah, already. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Here goes another, another one. Here. This is going to be Kessler. He's going to steal the puck. He's going to break in all by himself. Oh, he couldn't turn it over. I'm not so sure. That could have been a little up in the claws there, right? Could have been maybe a hook. He just couldn't turn the backhand over. But I'll tell you what, that was a nice play by Kessler to get that uh, that puck into that scoring opportunity. Okay, 50 seconds to go on the second penalty. We already killed one. It's five on four. Now what's going to happen? Jamie Triol is calling in something. The crease. In the crease. In the crease by the Huskies. I think he's going to take the play outside. Tell you, he loves that call. He does love that call. I'll tell you what. There's another referee. It was always a mouth guard. Called it no matter what. You weren't even playing. You'd, get, you'd, you'd go out for a mouth guard penalty. This guy, Jamie's like, he's an in the crease guy. Yeah, he does. He likes to call it in the crease. He, he loves does. that. He call. does love to call that in the crease. Anyways, if it happens. It's the right call, though. It's the right call. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying he loves it. He calls with authority. Good job there by Weber. Pestering his guy. Puck's going to be deep into the Meadville zone. Far side corner, 34 seconds on the second penalty. 159 in the third period. 5 nil, 5 nothing. Whatever. Meadville. Shot there. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, that was a nice play by Weber to block the, block the shot. 
Right onto Kessler's stick. Oh, Kessler's gonna get it back again. One on three, what's he gonna do? Take a shot, nice job, he scored! He took a shot from the outside top of the circle, one on three, the goalie went down like the Titanic over his shoulder, in the back of the net, unassisted for the youngster. Unbelievable. Un and that was a shorty too. Three short-handed goals. That's How a shorty. That? That's what, five un unassisted, five oh, unassisted boy. goals? Unbelievable. That, that sounds right. Hey, went a high glove right now. Like you said, the goaltender went down. Six unassisted goals. Am I right? Am I doing the math right? Six unassisted goals. Unbelievable. <clears throat> That's crazy. Good job for the youngster. That was a real nice. He's giving him the puck. That might be the first goal there. He got the puck. Oh, they got the puck out of there. That's good for him. I'm happy for him, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, six goals. What did you find? Six goals. And we got uh, five seconds to go on Shelvin's penalty. Boy, Billy Bulldogs are keeping it in again. There could have been a trippy call. Pucks in front. Where is oh. it? Okay, this is going to be Jonathan Mo well, English. He takes a shot. Score! Scored. Get the puck for this guy. I would imagine, unless he scored. No, no, no Mahoney, he the puck. Mahoney's Mahoney's already out of the puck. They're already digging it out. So. <coughs> Unbelievable, Jonathan English got his goal. I'm not sure we're gonna get an assist or not. Should be from Mahoney. Should be from Mahoney. Uh, brought, pulled it out in front, from behind the net. Gave it out in front, he just missed. I'm not sure who was in front. I think he just missed Grasinger and uh, ended up going right to English. And he put it put it right by the goaltender and a couple defensemen. Did they give it to him? They gave it to Grasinger. They gave it to Grasinger. They gave the assist to little Johnny Grasinger. Okay, so we had Jonathan Mahoney, assist, or Jonathan English from, from Grasinger. Oh, then we're not done yet by the looks of it here. Puck into the neutral zone. I'll tell you what, Bulldogs, it looks like they're getting faster and faster right now. So we're gonna have a, yeah, we're gonna have a Jordan, uh, Jonathan English oh. goal by an assist by Mr. Grasinger. So there goes your string of unassisted goals, dude. Yeah, that still was a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Puck on the far side. Oh, that's the second time Hyam uh, High fell and lost an edge. I wonder, he might have to get Dickey to look at his edge there a little bit. Yep. He fell down earlier in the, the other period. 10.31 <clears throat> to go. Now what, now, is this is, uh, <clears throat> is they still got the running clock on this deal? I'm not sure. It's a PHL rule, but uh, yeah. we'll see once they uh, see what happens. Once the whistle blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's a goal, or an injury, or a penalty. Yeah. That's what they used to be. We'll see. Yep. Seven nothing, anyways. Ten twelve. Ten minutes and ten seconds ago, third period. Bulldogs are just throwing the puck deep, getting guys chased, are getting a bunch of young guys in there right now. <clears throat> it's good to see. <coughs> puck in behind the net. That's number twenty. That's Chris Cox. He's out there with a, let's see if we can get a couple other numbers. Yeah, Chris Cox is out there. And also we got that uh, Sam Ingles is out there. This must be looking at the fourth line, what do you think? Yep, and uh, and uh, Corey. Oh, oh, good, yeah, yeah. Number 37. Yeah, Brandon Corey, big deal. So we got uh, the three youngsters out there. This is good, a whole bunch of play time is good. Oh, we got somebody down in the, Someone's down in the corner here. I didn't see what happened there. Great play by Lewis to kick the puck out without a stick. And he's having a hard time getting to the net. I can't see if you can get a number on one of the Bulldog injuries. Hyam. Hyam got hurt. It looks like he was holding his knee. We're not going to make any presumptions. He's at the bench right now. Puck's in the Harbor Creek zone. Far side. Going to put it in front. Konecki takes a shot. Rebound there. Can't, can't, can't find it for the Bulldogs. Puck shot in behind the net. Good job there by Hanaway to put the puck in front of the net. Puck squirts to the neutral zone. This is going to be Konecki. Konecki to English. Nice pass there <clears throat> to Weber. Weber's going to get the zone. Wheel and deal. What's he going to do? Far side. Going to try to get deep for Konecki. Can he keep it in? Yeah, he can. What's he going to do? Backhand pass to, to Mahoney. Mahoney to, to Konecki. Konecki going to put it deep. That's going to be uh, Hanaway. Far side or near side here. Puck shot down and all the way to the other end by, <clears throat> by their defenseman. But McCurdy, here's a high stick. 
There we go, good call. So McCurdy tried to clear it. Their guy knocked it down with a high stick. Jamie Triola right on the spot, calls it a high stick. It goes back to the guy who knocked it down. Face off all the way down in the other end. <clears throat> with, well, that answers your question, Deej. We got a running clock right now. There you go, they're probably just playing the PHL rules. And uh, McCurdy, he ended up stepping out there to make sure he, he stopped the puck, which uh, kept the running clock anyways. Um, with the uh, negating the icing, but I think he got a little excited. I think he was trying to look for an assist. Yeah, well, like you said earlier, yeah, maybe he did. Who knows? Yeah. Puck in behind the, their goal. Where is it? Squirts in front. Their defenseman clears it. Goes in behind his goal again. Near side. High off the glass. Good job in there to keep the, keep the puck in. That was a good play there. <clears throat> By number 39, Sam Ingles. Now the puck's going over when it hit something. Lewis saying hit something. And it's something it hit somebody in the bench here? Obviously something helped because Lewis just stopped. I mean, he's not going to just stop, right? So obviously something happened. Whether they didn't see it or they didn't think they needed to see it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think what happened, if I were to take a stab at it, I couldn't, couldn't see anything. I think at Harbor Creek, I think he's saying that Harbor Creek reached out and uh, ended up grabbing the puck, so they're going to take it inside the Harbor Creek zone right. for the faceoff. Right, I mean, yeah. But he was right because that's what, so Lewis was right. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Face off one by Shevelman. A little confusion there on the line, but Ott's able to keep it deep. In behind their, in behind their, their goal, back to the near side corner. Back behind their goal again it goes. Nice job there, the defenseman stepped around two guys. <clears throat> gonna get the line. Gonna put it ahead, nice pass off the, off the boards, nice and soft. He's gonna take a shot, where is it? Bouncing all over, plays side of the net, takes another shot. Good save by McCurdy, where is it? Makes another save. And all of a sudden, they're poking at the, gird, the goalie, and Shevelman and Ott said, that's enough of that. Boy, I'll tell you what, good pass by the Harbor Creek defenseman to get it up there, but I'll tell you what, McCurdy stayed with it and was able to keep the puck out of the net. 6.15 on a running clock, 7-0. Meadville with a little bit of that key motion going down in front of, on the side of our net. Yeah, because uh, multiple nice plays. You mentioned them both. The uh, defenseman for uh, defenseman, or at least maybe the, the third forward, Barber Creek, nice pass up, and then McCurdy does a great job to go to the go, go post to post and make the save there without that's, a glove at one point. Yeah, that's not easy to do. Shot there, good save by McCurdy. Pick up a pick, uh, pick that out of the crowd. <clears throat> you got to figure that uh, Barber Creek can be shooting from everywhere and anywhere. We're not going to say it. Don't say it. All right, here we go. 5:37 on a running clock. Face off one by Meadville. Good job there by uh, Jonathan English to take the puck all the way around. Can Derlick get it out? So stuck in his skate. Good job there by Johnny Grasger to help. Puck's going to come. This is McCurdy going to put it up. Nice job. Well, it's good to see High back this out there. Kinesky. Yeah, yeah. This is High. I'm going to go. Yeah, right after that. Uh, after having that little incident. That the good bet. Near side corner. Puck shot hit off the goalie stick. Ramped up high. It's going to be Derlick. What's he going to do? Far side point. Hyam takes a shot, doesn't make it. Their defenseman gets it, tries to take it around. Pass Casty here near side. Bringing it up. Gonna get the center ice. Gonna bounce off, uh, <clears throat> who's that, John Grassinger. Back yes. goes Sola. Here's the guy that, he, this guy was, uh, he's got a pretty good guy here, this number 10 guy. He seems to be a, all over for Harbor Creek. It just, they just nothing clicking for him today. 4.37 to go, running clock, 7-0 Meadville. Icing's gonna be called. Puck's gonna come all the way down the other end. We're gonna get a whole line change, all kind of people out there now. Looks like we've got Adam Travis out there. Looks like we've got um, Mr. Cox is out there. And uh, Corey, Brandon Corey. And Brandon Corey. Good to see the youngsters. Back to their point, good shot, where is it? Mixed all over the place, rebound. McCurdy couldn't find it, and they finally got tipped in. Uh, I'm not sure who's gonna get their goal, but but at uh, 4.06 on a running clock, it was kind of stopped in front. The, somebody from Harbor Creek, right place at the right time. So we'll see if we can't get the score for you on that one. Yeah, it was unfortunate, uh, unfortunate draw there for the, for the Bulldogs, and certainly, like you said, too much uh, 82 from 834, there's a mouthful. Do that math, DJ. So we're gonna give that to uh, Trent uh, Shutters, who's got the goal. 
I uh, got an assist from somebody from the point, and then I looked like somebody might have else been in front. So we got a 7-1, 7-1 score right now in favor of your Meadville Bulldogs. Pucks in the center ice. Where is it? Playing around too much. It just seems a lot of just unorganized play right now. Good job there. Good hustle by Chris Cox. That's going to be Konetsky. Now it's going to be a penalty on tripping. Chris Cox is going to get, a, of all things, a tripping penalty with um, 341 to go in the third period. Yeah, I think he was uh, just un unfortunate there. The stick was in just kind of somewhat of the wrong spot there. And I'm not sure if he actually took his leg out or actually stepped on it. And that was the only leg he was standing on, the, uh, the, right. the Husky player. So um, somewhat of an easy call and had to call it as the, uh, the referee. Uh, did with, uh, as you mentioned, 3.40 left here in a, just the third period. Yep, on the running clock. It was one of those, oops, this is Mahoney going to try to forecheck, can't do it. Good job there, good call by Trimble. Guy brought the puck in his own zone himself. Uh, keeping Mahoney in there, but no offside. Out in the far corner, ties up his guys nicely. Puck goes high and hard off the glass, going to go all the way down the other end behind their goal. Uh, Mahoney giving chase. Puck near side here, going to come all the way to our defense that's going to be english english gets the puck again wheels around a couple guys blows a guy over and we're on side he still has the puck he puts kind of tops it dumps it into the dumps it into their zone oh good step there by uh Lott. stole the puck where's it now good job there by one of the harbor creek guys he takes a shot hits off back of somebody's leg goes near side <clears throat> boards Shot off the glass, it goes all the way down. 105 to go in the Cox is stripping penalty. 243 to go. Third period, 7-1 Meadville on a running clock. It'll stay running unless one of three things happen. Well, I think they won't be running right because the difference is only six. Oh yeah, you might be right. DJ. Yeah, good call. Shot there saved by McCurdy. Yeah, you're right. The difference is six. My fault. So it does stop. We got a husky husky penalty here. Oh no! Goaltender, goaltender McCurdy was bobbling the puck a little bit. He stuck a stick in there, uh, unwarranted slash in the uh, in the eyes of the referee. So he called a slash on the goaltender Number 16. for the Husky. Two minutes, four and four action for 50 seconds. Two minutes for slashing. Remaining in the Cox penalty. Two minutes for the Husky. 2:31 left in the third period. Here. Beautiful, beautiful. Love to see it. Now we're what four four date. See what the dogs have. This is Shovelman, can't control the puck. He says he tipped it, good job, Josh Trimble. Says he tipped it, put him behind their zone, and behind their net. They go far side corner, front of the net to one of their D. He's gonna shoot it all the way down. He does not realize they're at even strength right now. That is correct, he does not know that. He just decided, yeah, he said, I'm gonna do it anyways. He doesn't know, he thinks they're, he thinks they're short handed. Correct, yeah, I don't think he, was under the same impression that everybody else was, but no. the Bulldogs will take the icing on a stopped clock and uh, still work on the four and four here. Again, you don't get this game action, uh, you know, in the in practice. No, no, you don't. And yeah, in the olden days, you did something. You'd have got taken off the uh, the ice, wouldn't you? You could shoot the puck when you're even strength. I think. You yeah, get, you got to mentally be in the game, I think, right? Uh, options probably too, as far as what they've got down there. Uh, well, you know, that's a, a good, shorter, shorter bench, so that's a good point. That's good too. All right, back come the Bulldogs. This is going to be Shelman takes a shot, stopped by the defenseman. Going to near side here. Good job by Lewis. Nice pinch to get the puck to keep it in deep. Goalie makes the save, put in behind the net. Lewis follows his own shot, put in front, <clears throat> right to their defenseman. He's going to skate it to the blue line. Evil's in the power play at this point. Going to take a shot. Going to hit the defenseman's stick. It goes up and high and off the glass. Does not go out of the rink. We're still playing. 129 to go. Near side here, this is Kessler, wheel and deal. Gonna take a shot, defenseman gets a stick on, it goes up and into the netting. We got 121 to go on a stop clock, 7-1 Meadville. 51 seconds on their, on their penalty. So Meadville, again, technically is on another power play, D. That's right, technically it is, right? Yeah, they're on the power play here. We'll see what the uh, see what the Bulldogs can do. Again, as I mentioned before, you don't get to set up uh, game time action in, in, uh, in practice very often, so um, even though you're up by six, there's certainly not a lot of time left. It's something that uh, you certainly want to uh, practice on, even if it's something that some of your second unit guys are, or even lower down the list. That's for sure. Face off just to the right of their goaltender. This is going to be uh, Matting. Let's going to give it back to Lewis. Take a shot, hit about nine sticks. Oh, he, guy tried to clear, but he whiffed on it. 
And the puck's going to go back into their zone. Then he shoots it all the way back down to our zone. 108 to go on the period. 35 seconds to go in the power play. In behind his own net. This is what, this is what Ott. Ott's going to put it ahead. This looks like Kessler. Wheel and deal. Far side, Matt English. Offside, Dribble says. He's going to take the pass. He's going to go back to the pass, originally the pass. You think, I don't know, Dave, off. Off, you think? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell with the uh, light apparatus in my way here. The light in your way. Yeah. Center off, face off. 53, 55 seconds to go in the game. This is going to be, uh, who's that? Oh, that's Johnny Grasker breaking in. There's Kessler taking a shot. They're going to shoot the puck all the way down the other end. McCurdy's going to stop it. 44 seconds to go. This is going to be uh, Lewis, near side board. It's going to get top of the circle. Beats one guy, beats two guys. Beats the referee, beats three guys. Going to take a shot, you know, didn't beat the goalie. So we had three guys, a referee, and he couldn't beat the goalie. 30 <laughs> seconds to go in the game. It's almost there. There's only two more guys on the ice. Almost two more guys on the ice. Fourth line on the ice. I'm going to call it the fourth line. That's not fair. The, the youngsters are on the ice. We're going to say that. So, yeah, we're going to look like Travis. Uh, Adam Travis is again on the ice. Chris Cox is on the ice. And then number 37, that's Brandon Corey's on the ice again. These guys saw a little bit of play in the third period. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, why not? 20 seconds to go. Puck deep into behind the Harbor Creek net. Uh, net. Just going to kind of wheel and deal. Hope we keep it in our zone the whole time. The puck's going to go down the other end. This might just do it. If Lewis gets the puck, taking it behind his own net. Yeah, just kind of shoveling the puck around. Three, two, one. This is going to be the end of the game right there. So with the final, uh, Bulldog seven, Harbor Creek one. All right, so with that, until next week, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> or not next week, next game.